You look at John chapter 9. It's the story of a man born blind. And as Jesus passed by him, uh, his disciples asked him, and they said, who sinned here? Was it him uh, or his parents that he was born blind? What's, what's the problem? And, and they were getting into a theological argument because that was, there, there has to be some sin for this great thing uh, to, to have happened to him. And was this a sin that he was going to commit after he was born? Or was it a sin that his parents committed? And in either side of that, you go, well, what's the fairness here? Uh, why should he be judged for what his parents did? Or why should he be judged at birth for what he may do in his life? I love the answer Jesus gave. Neither this man nor his parents sinned, but that the works of God should be revealed in him. And when you start thinking about whatever obstacle you're facing, whatever has happened to you, whatever injustice has happened to you, you start thinking, this happened so the glory of God could be revealed in me. Here's a thought for you. Jesus asked us to pray. And he said, pray this way, that God's will would be done on earth as it is in heaven. And that gives us the very definite clue that God's word is not always being done on earth. But the wonderful news is that he's empowered us to pray that his will would be done, that his glory would be revealed on earth as it is in heaven. Now start thinking about heaven. Does anybody have a birth defect? Is anybody oppressed? Is anybody addicted? Well, the answer is no. So that's God's will. And we're authorized to pray it here on earth. Now, all of us go through trouble. All of us have problems. And here's what the Apostle Paul said about in 2 Corinthians. We do not lose heart, but though our outer man is decaying, and anybody who's aging, you know, your outer man is decaying, yet our inner man is being renewed day by day for the momentary light affliction is producing for us an eternal weight of glory far beyond all comparison. While we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen. For the things which are seen are temporal, but the things which are not seen are eternal. And when you get your eyes on heaven, when you get your eyes on Jesus, and start asking this question, how can God's glory be, be revealed? How can heaven be revealed on earth through me? How can Jesus, the author and the finisher of my faith, how can he work through this? How can he be glorified today in me? And when those are your questions, well, then wonderful things can happen. And this verse can be true for you. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me.